And guess who's back, bitches? <laughs> That's good pop here, but I got some bad news to give. And I know y'all been waiting a while for this one. This is Redonkulous.com's response to the 23 ways that we still oppress women. Wah. I got news for you. Some of these, <laughs> Islam, <coughs> it's the same. And with that being said, make sure you get your tampon that can handle some heavy flow. My anus is bleeding. And relax your muscles, because this is gonna get bloody up in here. Yeah. We associate rape with accidents. How the f you rape by accident? Oh my God, I gotta put my frustration face over this one because that is just <laughs> stupid. Is it an accident when a liquored up chick initiates a sexual act with a dude and then in the morning when she sobers up, she regrets it? I don't call that rape. Hell, I don't even call that an accident. I call that a tramp. I was too drunk to consent. And he bumped my tonsils, where? What is your opinion on dudes or women that get in the car drunk and actually kill people? Oh, that's right, they knew what they were doing when they got behind the wheel. Bottom line, ladies, if you drive drunk, you get held accountable if you kill somebody. But that doesn't apply if you decide to have sex when you've been drinking. That's a big F off. We allow women to be forced into marriage every two minutes. No, we don't. In the West, women control the flow of merchandise, if you know what I mean. If you actually do have a problem with that stat or child brides, why don't you take it up with Islam? Oh, I forgot. You don't want to come across as Islamophobe or a xenophobe, even when that ideology truly does oppress women. And they want to see you dead. We tell women they have to act a certain way to have value. This has already been statistically proven in several studies. If a woman has a lot of sexual partners, her chance of divorce goes through the roof. And if you have a problem being called a slut and a whore, quit acting like a slut and a whore. Most of the dudes in the Western world know that they're uh, shacking up with a chick and probably going to get between two and six Eskimo brothers. But if that woman truly fails the dick stacking test, check out the video. Walk, do not run. Leave it on the lot in Section 8 housing where you found it. We believe we have rights to do whatever we want with a woman's body. <laughs> Take that up with Islam because that shit ain't happening here. I'm sorry. I've been all over the world and I have never run across a dude that thought he could do whatever he wants to do with a female's body, except in Islamic countries. But you women on the flip side, you think you're entitled to everything in a dude's wallet, bank account, cars, and everything without giving up the golden vagina. That's called a no astitute and I'll be doing a show on that. Our priorities are completely distorted when it comes to sexual violence. Obviously you mean things like proof and evidence and witnesses. You don't want to go by that, but that's how our system works. I hate to break it to you. But it's called due process, and that's how it works here in the Western world. You want to take all accusations at face value and turn them into a witch hunt. We go absolutely berserk over that shit, even when it's not even true. And we don't even prosecute the women that are making these false accusations. And you know what that is? It's a bitch hunt. We think it's okay to discriminate based on biology. If you cannot drag a 300 pound man 50 feet to an ambulance because you're too small and skinny because you're a female, that is not discrimination, it is reality. If you physically can't do the job, then fuck off. Now listen, if you're gonna hold a gun to my head and say, hey, we're discriminating because of biology. Guess what? <laughs> we like supermodels, not wamalos. I guess you got me. We still don't understand that young teenagers can't give consent. Um, did you ever see Lolita? <laughs> Wait a minute, I got one word, uh, oh yeah, bullshit and statutory rape. Even if the female is a minor and she pursues the sexual encounter, the dude still gets jammed up and thrown in jail. The f***ing you're gonna get is not worth the f***ing you're gonna get. Is. Stay away from that. We say a man is needed for true happiness. Statistically speaking, and if you check out the studies, married women do very well beyond 45, even if their husband dirt darts and dies. Where feminists, after 45, it is a bleak existence. There are very few Bethany Frinkles out there who sell their drink line for 200 million. Most of you feminists are gonna wind up living in an iron lung and feeding your cats. We still use violence against women to sell products. What? I'm at a loss for this one. I, I, I can't even answer it. And don't you dare say the X-Men poster. F you, edit that out. This whole X-Men debacle that came out in the media, that female star was marketed far more than anyone else. And all of the other male stars make more money than her, but yet she's on the poster. <laughs> 
Kiss my ass! We blame the victim. Here we go. We're back to the golden goose of feminism. Rape. And we blame the victim. <laughs> no, we don't. Here is the video, Rape Religion. In fact, we touched on this subject quite a bit. Asking for proof, evidence, due process, and situational awareness is not victim blaming. That part of town is really dangerous and six people were shot there last week. Maybe I shouldn't go there. No, 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 I'm gonna wear a skirt up to here where my bush hangs out and walk right down the street and no one should touch me. Well, good luck with that. I'm from Detroit. And back in the day, if you drove your car down there and left it unlocked, and it was still there when you came back, you're a lucky man. And when and if it does get stolen, the cops are gonna ask you, Hey, did you lock the car? And if you say no, they're gonna look you in the face and go, What did you expect to happen? You did not take responsibility for your own safety. Does that one statement make the individual who drove off in your car any less of a bitch bag ass bag? No! We still put looks above abilities. I'm gonna concede there's a little bit of truth in this one. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna explain this really easy to you. You know, a dude from 18 to 34 is a walking lawn sprinkler for semen. Suck me, beautiful. Unless you're looking for a wife, abilities are secondary or uh, if she has good abilities in the sack, <laughs> winning. And you know what, ladies? You actually do this too. And you do it worse than we do. So guess what? You need to take that question up with women. We claim that some things are very specifically meant for a man's world. Which is basically true. But historically, every time there is a group of just dudes, women want to crash the party and ruin it for everyone. Women hate organizations where only men are there and they can't get in there to exploit any resources. You wanna know what else is just a man's world? <laughs> the draft! Now that women can serve in combat roles, they're putting them in the draft pool also. And all of a sudden, shocker, feminism now thinks that's a bad idea. I'm not done, I'm not done! We use our power in disgusting ways. Well, here's a little news flash. Power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely, and it doesn't matter what gender you are. I want you to check out this graphic of all the individuals who died under suspicious circumstances. And all of them could testify against old Hillary. Do not adjust your eyes. That is a list of over 40 people. And all you guys out there who are bashing old Trump, saying he's a racist, bigot, whatever. <laughs> He doesn't have a body count attached to his name. We continue to not take domestic violence charges seriously. Are you f***ing kidding me? Edit that out. The Supreme Court just upheld that if you're convicted of domestic violence, you can never own a firearm again. If you look at all these experiments that were conducted in public about domestic violence, when it's the woman hitting the man, everyone laughs and thinks it's funny. But when the dude turns to tune her up, everyone jumps in and white knights. Now, domestic violence is usually 50-50. And when it's not, it's usually women and their victims are children. So if we truly are equal, any good reason to hit a dude is equally good a reason to hit a chick. You step in the box and you're swinging at me like a dude, you're gonna get punched like a dude. Just saying. Workplace discrimination is still rampant. Show me where. Hey ladies, I know you gotta complain about the air conditioning or the individual in the next cubicle is making too much noise. <laughs> we die. I know you feminists out there are gonna be like, Pop, what about the STEM field? Well, guess what? Stop going to college for gender studies, cultural awareness, or interpretive dance, and you can get in the STEM field. It's that easy. You have a better chance of getting a job in that field than I do, because guess what? You're part of affirmative action. Despite the fact that uh, women are 51% of the population and up to 65% of the population in college, but hey, what do I know? You go to college and you run up your debt to 100K, all for a job that pays 25K. That's your problem, that's your stupidity, and that's you being a can't understand normal thinker. Well, do me a favor and stop trying to make the world change to accommodate your bullshit. We consider tampons and maxi pads to be more dangerous than guns. You're so goddamn stupid, I can't believe they printed this article. You, I mean, God! Chick walks into a party store. Stick him up! What are you doing, woman? That's a goddamn tampon. 
But men think this is more dangerous than guns, especially if they're bloody. I'm gonna call the cops and we're gonna watch some Space Ghost. Yeah, Space Ghost! <laughs> means f off, I'm not listening to what you have to say. We believe beautiful is not beautiful enough. That's just stupid. Now you're just filling space on the list. Again, here we are with warping reality. They want to change our perspective. You want us to F our beauty standards. <laughs> Winning? No. You can whine about it till you turn blue. That I should think a land whale beautiful, but they're not, and they never will be. How dare you? You and your preferences? Our advertisements depict objects rather than people. Take it up with the women and gays because they run that whole thing. I'm just a target demographic. Those supermodels out there who are making gobs of cash and usually eight times more than a male supermodel, I'm pretty sure they don't feel like objects. I think they feel like what they are, hot and rich. Now, do you think Kate Upton gets up in the morning and just counts her money and goes, oh, I feel like such an object. No, because she's rich, bitch. I'm rich, bitch. We still think that erections are more important than birth control. Well, are you out of your goddamn mind? Women have like, what, 28 different forms of birth control. Dudes have two, abstain and wear a condom. That's it. Or they can do the, I'll just put the tip in, because that always works. <laughs> Now, when you boil this all down, erectile dysfunction is a medical problem. You being a cum dumpster and not wanting to shit out a vaginal turd is not a medical problem. With that being said, can birth control be used to treat medical problems? Absolutely. And that is why I'd rather have the government subsidize birth control than pay for abortions. It's a lot cheaper to prevent these pregnancies than it is to psychologically scar a woman or have to pay for one of these DNA duplicators for the rest of their lives. Thank you, government, for being my kid's daddy. We continue to be a willing audience for misogynists. What are you talking about? All of the commercials, all the media makes men idiot fools. Okay, we need to take into account where this is coming from. It's coming from the same people who have diluted the definition of rape so far down that it can mean almost anything. I've seen some female comedians and they say some pretty hateful man bashing shit. We work so hard to look so pretty for men, but like, you guys are disgusting. <laughs> oh, now I get it. <laughs> When the joke is on women, it's misogyny. When it's on men, <laughs> it's acceptable. And you want to know why it's acceptable? Because us dudes, <laughs> we know how to take a joke. <laughs> One of your biggest goals is to put your penises in our buttholes. We allow rapists to sue for custody. If you are truly a victim of a beatdown rape, and some dude comes out of the woodwork wanting that kid, you just tell me who it is and I'll go tune him up for you myself. So while we're talking about something that oppresses one gender or another, cause there's a lot of women out there who get pregnant on purpose and leave the father's name off the birth certificate. Or they dupe a dude to thinking he is the father so they can suck resources off him for the rest of their goddamn lives. And what does the system do to these women who perpetrate such a heinous fraud? Nothing, they get to walk off and that's it. We dismiss passionate behavior. And why do we do that? Because <laughs> you're usually being a biatch or a clump. Oh, sounds refreshing, but it really isn't. Shrill, lewd, loud, and stupid. And another thing that I forgot to mention, usually it's wrong. Yeah, we are taught to apologize. I am sorry. Give it up. I'm so sorry, baby. I am so sorry. Finally, the last one on this list. We believe female sexuality is more important than talent. Didn't we already do that one? It's reworded but different, it's still placing looks over abilities. And again, it's the same answer. Yes, it's true up until 34 when the big head finally overpowers the little head. Feminism has pretty much won this one. Women get to do whatever they want. They ride the cock carousel, fail the dick stacking test, do all kinds of crazy shit. Then right around the 28 or 32 when they want to settle down and be a wife, that's when talent really comes into play. Because if you only worked on your sexual talent, you're gonna suck at being a wife, figuratively and literally. <laughs> now the funniest thing about this entire article is one, it's not true. And two, if you believe it's true, you're setting yourself up for failure. <laughs> All of this is nothing but a recipe for man-hating and disaster. But hey, if you like how we keep debunking this bullshit, check out our Patreon and PayPal links below. Send us some loot so we can keep doing this. Please, hit the subscribe button, and if you don't, I'm coming to your place, and I'm going to shoot you in the face with a tampon gun. <laughs>
<laughs> you can do that. I mean, <laughs> it's like you know what? This house is kind of old. The beams are kind of dry. I bet I could torch this motherfucker with my gender studies degree from the University of Phoenix. <laughs> I only paid five dollars. <laughs> That's so <f> hilarious. <laughs>